Hey everybody, welcome back to Things Are About to Get Dicey Simulator. AKA Greedfall. We're back on to the main quest of looking for a cure for the Malachor, which. You know, I kind of wonder. That one that gets to live. I wonder if that will be a thing. Or if we will forever. Like I, like, I don't know. I mean, I'm intrigued. I've been so busy and so enthralled in all of the other things that we've been doing. <laughs> that it's like the Malachor has kind of become the least of my concerns. And I, I know that that's not how it should be. I wonder, can I even get through this way? Or am I, do I have to go all the way around? I might have to go all the way around. Because I think this is taking me back into uh, some weird... This is like through the cave or something, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Totes. Let's go around the other way. I think the, uh, the thing that makes this experience so good is that... A, the expectations were incredibly mediocre going into it. And if you made a pros and cons list of things in this game that it, like, things that it does well and things that it doesn't do super well, truthfully, there'd probably be more things on the cons list. But the quality of the pros list is much higher, I think, and it outweighs the the impact that the cons would have. We'll probably talk about it a little bit more when we finish the game because I don't know, maybe it's a huge letdown, but I find that we're so invested. <laughs> I am anyways, I'm like this is I think about this game pretty much Non-stop. Okay, so this will be nice because now we have a, an actual travel point here. I think. Yeah, sweet. But this is a big deal. We've been this has been on hold for quite a while. Deward. Hello, my name is Desarde. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation. May I enter? Good day, legate de Sarde. No. This building is closed to Renaixe. I am Siora, daughter of Vladne, daughter of Meb. My mother, the Mal of the Red Spears, was a member of the council. Also, All my mother remember, was pretty important. Tirse. She was a courageous Mal, but you are not yet Mal in her stead, and you do not carry her seal. I am sorry, Siora. I cannot allow you to enter. I beg your pardon. I did not know. Well, that's like massive respect from her. If I cannot enter, perhaps you could tell the elder of the council that I request an audience. Glendon cannot speak with you, legate. Times are difficult, and his time is precious. He only accepts to meet the members of the council or their representatives. How can I prove that I am the representative of one of them? If you are a trusted friend of a council member, he will give you his seal, and we would know it. I will then be glad to allow you to enter. You huh. would be the first Renaixe to obtain such an honor. Well, okay. If I cannot enter, perhaps you could tell the elder of the oh. council that I request an audience. <laughs> Glendon cannot speak with you, Legio. Oh, I, I will... Okay, so... I will return later. If you have a seal, you will be welcome. If not, you are wasting your time and mine. We need to somehow get a seal. Ask for catas a cat. Yeah, 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 him. He'll definitely do it. Right? You would think. Um, We'll travel from here. Katasek? I, I'm mispronouncing his name, but... He'll definitely help us. I think. Is he... 
I don't know what area he's in specifically. Like, I don't know if he's in the town now or. I feel like he's probably on the outskirts. Yeah, he is. Or he's not. Oh, he's in here. Okay. It's hard keeping track of all these guys. Oh, yeah. Okay, right. Right, 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 right. He's here keeping him. I didn't know he was staying, but he's here, I guess, continuously helping Constantine deal with this Greetings, sickness. Greetings, What can I do for you? Oh. Okay, let's ask him all of this, actually. Do you like it in New Serene? No. Your village has smothered the earth. Yikes. The smell of the woods has gone, and the singing of the birds is filled with anguish. I can barely feel my bond here, but don't worry. I will not leave before doing everything in my power to save your cousin. Now that you've seen my cousin, what are your thoughts on the Malachor? It is a terrible disease. I have never seen one like it. It slowly gnaws through the people it afflicts. The eyes and the legs gradually die because of the black blood. And the pain it induces is atrocious. My potions are barely enough to calm your cousin. But if you're asking if I know how to cure it, I have no idea. Oh, we know, we know. It's a disease coming from a world that isn't ours and which I'm not familiar with. That's fair. How is my cousin doing? He's filled with dread as death approaches. Forgive him his mood swings. He's such a young boy, and he had so much desire to live. Thanks to my treatment, he suffers less. But his disease is getting worse, and I don't know what to do. It would take a power far superior to mine to break the grasp of this evil. Well, speaking of that... I'm looking to meet Enon Miel Frichtemann. I went all the way to the village council. But they did not let you speak to Glendan the Elder. That is correct. Precisely. They said that only the friends of a member of the council might enter. And my word was not enough. It seems that I must be a mal to be heard. Do not be sad, daughter of Bloodnid. One day you will be as great a chief as your mother. And you too will have a seal. This seal oh, will thanks. allow you to give voice to the friends of your clan, those who may speak in your name. Here, friend of Wenshavier, take my seal and go and meet Glendan. But you must convince him and no doubt pass many trials. Hmm. Many monsters and traps are hidden on the path you seek to follow. Thank you, Katasach. Why are you helping me? We do not wish to lose the one who placed his life in my hands. That's cool. And you have already shown me your friendship. I hope that Glendan will allow you to meet this god, cousin. Leave as soon as you can. Godspeed. Have no fear. I'll do whatever it takes. I must go. Qua awalam seg. Qua awalam seg. That's really cool of him that uh, he's willing to just do that and put full trust in us. Because I guess one of the one of the things to consider is that if they're giving you a seal, it's like you're also you're also representing them, like they're vouching for you. And so, if you do something that would kind of let them down, that's going to reflect super poorly. I don't know what these trials are going to be like, but 
Katasak is saying that there's going to be many monsters, many traps. You have returned. The rule is still the same, you know. I know it, but... Here is the seal of the Denegad Katasak of the village of Wenshavie. And so you are a trusted friend of the great healer. <laughs> he must see your true face and find it worthy. His mind is Enter. blown. You are welcome. I give you warm greetings, Glendan. I am Disarde, legate of the Congregation of Merchants. Your merchant congregation sways me very slightly from my part. But you are a current of Katasach. His trust in you makes me stop and look at you. What brings you here? I seek a remedy. My cousin, as well as many other people on our island, suffer from a terrible sickness. We think that only Enon Miel Frichtemann can help us find a cure. Really? And Katasach? sent you to see me. He told me that the only way to meet with your god was to come and see you. You would judge our worthiness. Judge your intentions? Yes, that I can do. But even if I should do this, you would have many trials to pass. Well, let's begin. For the path you seek to follow has only been tread but a very few times, and you are the first Renaixe to set foot upon it. We must begin where everything begins. There is a trial. The trial of water. It will show us the reflection of your soul. What must I do? You must go to a cavern and tell me what you see on the seal you will find deep in its center. And this cavern is guarded, I suppose? That is true. But the simplest solution is not always the best. It is a path mm. with many forks. I hope you will prove that you understand the spirit of our people and our island. Which Go is basically... Now. Show us your true face and return purified by the waters of the cavern. Just basically, like, respect the land, respect the animals. Uh, just be cool, basically. What can you tell me about the sanctuary? It is the most sacred place of the island. The hidden face, and still seen by all of you. In all meal men. I protected these doors like my father before me and his father before him. And still none of us have ever entered. What? Am I to gather that there has never been a high king in your family? We are heads of the Council of Kings. And so it is prohibited for us to present ourselves. Huh. We must remain impartial. I see. And so you cannot speak to me about what you find inside. The heart of the island beats near here, the volcano. And I know that it is a place full of life. What can you tell me about your god? That the word god is too small to hold him. He is Tia Fradi in all and everything. The wisdom of his people, the gentleness of his rivers, the strength of his volcano. Like a mother nature. You are looking for wisdom to heal the Renaixe, but you still see it with the eyes of a sort of Donegad. He is much more than that. He is the essence of all life, of all magic, the spring. Can you tell me anything more about the role of the council? We gather here at every long night and every short night. During these nights, the clans are in disagreement and come here looking for wisdom of the council and of course also the High King. Those who have complaints against their mal may also be heard here and find justice. And when important events take place, if the balance is threatened, then we also meet here so that the wisdom of all might be shared and that we might act as the same people. I must leave. Goodbye. Kwa awelem seg. I really wonder 
how different this would be depending on where we tried to source some of the uh, medicine for Constantin. We had those three options, which is basically like go to the, I think it was researchers uh, or scientists in Hikmet. And then we could go to um, Teleme or St. Mateus for their help. Uh, or go to um, the natives, which we ultimately chose, not knowing that it was just going to be a choice. We thought, I was thinking maybe just investigate all three. But anyways, I wonder how different this would have been, if at all. Now, um, Siora's quest has popped back up here. And I think before we do the Trial of the Waters, let's talk to her and see what she's thinking about. Karantz. I need to talk to you. I have to ask you for another favor. I'm listening, Siora. Do you remember the mind shakers in my village? Yes. If I understand correctly, there was some kind of an agreement made with them. Even though these priests would make good allies against the lions because they hate them as much as we do, my mother would never have traded the spirits of the people of the village in exchange for their help. And she would have wanted to be buried according to our rituals. She was deeply attached to our traditions. So you think that they're lying? Yes. And you understand these Renaixe better than I do. Will you investigate this matter with me? Yes. Of course. Let's go. You have spoken to Glendon as you wanted. What more can I do for you? Well, do you know anything about this trial? I was asked to pass the trial of water. What do you know about it? I have never passed it. Only those who must reveal their soul walk this path. The High Kings and Queens. It is a tremendous honor given Seriously. to you, Renaixe. Do you have any advice to give me? I only know that the trial can be passed in many ways, and <laughs> oh, your choice geez. will reveal I'm the stressing out about it. of your soul. One way is through strength, the other by ruse and heart. But I know no more than this. The trials are kept secret. Anything else? Nothing else, thank you. I need to leave. Good luck. But it sounds like... And do not lose yourself in your own reflection is that it's probably guarded by um, Guardian or other creatures. And if we want, we could probably just fight our way through. Or there might be... Well, it sounds like there's quite obviously other paths. But through te tests of what, we don't know. Like, we have really high uh, intuition, so we could sneak. We have really high charisma, but I don't think that's going to that's going to play anything. I think if anything, it's going to be this that lets us sneak through somewhere or I mean, it could be a science thing. I'm not sure. We get extra intuition from Vasco, which we don't need. Uh, Siora, we would get vigor, which actually could be beneficial as well. Uh, we do have the science from her, and if we have a, if we run into something with science, if we switch what we're wearing, then we could have level three science as well. That's possible. Um, we could get up to level two if we're able to get to a friendly relationship with Siora, which maybe this will accomplish. I don't, I don't know. Let's hope so, and then, and then we've got options. Oh, you know what? I wonder... Since we're talking to missionaries here... Probably doesn't make a big difference, but... Let's just grab, uh... Petrus for a minute here. Afra's not really saying much, <laughs> regardless. All right, everybody.
Let's go. The thing is, um, when we go and do the other mission, we're likely going to want to bring her so we have the opportunity for science because maybe sometimes we run into certain uh, walls that we can break down with science. Most of them have been level one, but still nice to have the option. And Petrus, what does he add? Charisma, which we don't need. Hello, my child. What a pleasure to see someone come to us with such eagerness. Do you want to hear the word of St. Matthias and come into the light? That's a hard pass. Not really, Father. My name is this our day. <laughs> Not really. I'm the legate of the I like that. congregation. Nice to meet you, Your Excellency. What can we do for you? Not really. We would like to know more about the agreement you supposedly sealed with Bladnit. I do not see how our agreement concerns the congregation. But since you are asking us, we swore to provide this village with all our support in their fight against the Alliance. In exchange, its inhabitants will have to renounce their pagan cult and turn towards the light. My mother would never have yeah, made see, such an agreement. This is the sketchy She's part. She's the one who encouraged me to become a Donegad. The Queen had understood that the light was the only true path even if she was attached to traditions. It is for this reason that we have accepted to seal our agreement according to your own rituals. She had an engraver come to Valristo. He carved your strange symbols in the stone. I do not believe a single word of this. You, the people of the light, are nothing but liars. You would do well to hold your tongue, young lady. This village is now under our spiritual authority. By not respecting us, you are committing blasphemy. Jesus. And blasphemy is a crime that we punish severely. Because you think that you can administer justice here. I am the daughter of Bladnid, and you are... Siora, let's not get into another battle and make new enemies. Let's go find this stone. That is an excellent idea. Then you will see that we are telling the truth. Yeah, we'll see. You're right. We will see. Need to go to Falristal. Okay, so it's back this way. Falristal camp. Thanks for the help there, Petrus, by the way. That was great. Thanks. So... They're saying that her mother entered into this agreement. Of course, this is very convenient because she's dead. Um, and we have no way of really proving any of this. So I'm hoping that these inscriptions on the stone... Whoa. What the hell? I guess we got here just at the right time. Sometimes I think these basic thieves, we can just look at them and they'll die. Here's the stone we were looking for. It is destroyed. Really goddamn convenient. We can no longer decipher the symbols. Strange. Isn't it? It is. This stone was damaged on purpose. We will never know the precise terms of the agreement. There may be a way. Promises in stone are a very ancient tradition. Those who want to make these agreements must turn to a keeper of promises. An artisan who makes the stone speak. There are but a few. We did not have one in our village before Karatek's arrival. He must be the one who engraved this stone. I thought you could not write. The Donegada have a secret writing that the Keepers of Promises always learn. Those who want to seal a promise tell them to write, and they take care of it. But it's not, like, traditional. Am I right? 
Okay, so he's back in here. Like, there's no way that that's legit. There's just no... I refuse to believe it. And I'm going to operate Strange. under that assumption. It looks like no one's there, but the door's left open. Engraver's workshop. Empty. Everything is broken and turned upside down. It was ransacked, you Empty. guys. Also very convenient. Sculpted engraved stone. What happened here? It seems like there was a fight. Everything is scattered around. It's as if someone wanted to meticulously destroy everything in this workshop. The owner must have left in a hurry, taking a few things and destroying the rest. Unless someone else did this. Yeah, exactly. We must find Karadeg. Do you know where he might be? This engraved stone bears the mark of Barayag Nodas. Don Cass's clan. Do you remember him? Karadeg originally do. belonged to this clan. He may have returned. Let's go to Vigigador and we'll find out. I'm sure that's not an accident that he left that one piece behind. I hope you guys don't mind the uh, fast travel here because we've been to this through this area multiple times. Instead of just like running back and forth. This is one of those scenarios where I feel like they would benefit from sometimes they do those cuts and they just transport you kind of where you need to go. But it's very possible that some people haven't ex haven't seen this whole area yet. So, what brings you here on our Manawi? We're looking for Karadeg, the keeper of promises. Did he come back to your village? He, he did come, and then he left. We could not take him back. What do you mean? Why not? Did you exile him? Why? He is the one who left. He disagreed with our stance on the Renaissance. Uh oh, that's going to be awkward. That we should be fighting them, throwing them back to the sea. This is why he joined the Gaius Rad. And I did not want him to return if it meant that he would bring his hatred with him. Do you know where he might have gone? He feared someone or something. Probably. And he wanted to hide. Cave or something he must somewhere? have left for the woods south of here. He knows the area well. Is there anything else? No, we're good. We're good. I must leave. Goodbye, Dunkus. Qua Awalum say. Dunkus is like, he's our dude. <laughs> There's so many people that we owe so much to. He's like tucked away back here. So he doesn't like the Renegzi, or he at least doesn't like that this clan has kind of been a little bit more um, accepting of them. Or us, I should say. But he might be desperate, so... Sweet. It's Canadian aim. Good. It is Karadeg. He's over there. Okay, well, he seems fine. 